ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी लोको मोशन एंड मूवमेंट मूवमेंट इज़ वन ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट फीचर ऑफ लिविंग बींग्स एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट एग्जिबिट अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ मूवमेंट स्ट्रीमिंग ऑफ फोटो प्लाज्म इन द यूनी सेलर ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइक अमोइबा इज अ सिंपल फॉर्म ऑफ मूवमेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ सीलियर प्लेजला एंड टेंटिकल्स आर शोन बाय मैनी ऑर्गेनिज्म ह्यूमन बींग्स कैन मूव लिम्स जॉ आईलेट्स टंग एक्सेट्रा सम ऑफ द मूवमेंट्स रिजल्ट इन अ चेंज ऑफ प्लेस और लोकेशन सच वॉलेंट्री मूवमेंट आर कॉल लोको मोशन वॉकिंग रनिंग क्लाइंबिंग फ्लाइंग स्विमिंग आर ऑल सम फॉर्म्स ऑफ लोको मोटरी मूवमेंट लोको मोटरी स्ट्रक्चर नीड टू बी डिफरेंट फ्राम दोज अफेक्टिंग अदर टाइप्स ऑफ मूवमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन पैरामीशियम सिलिया हेल्प इन द मूवमेंट ऑफ फूड थ्रो साइटो फेरेंस एंड इन द लोको मोशन एज वेल हाइड्रा कैन यूज इट्स टेंटिकल्स फॉर कैप्चरिंग इट्स प्रे एंड ऑल्सो यूज दैम फॉर लोको मोशन यू ऑल्सो लेम्स फॉर change in body posture and movement as well and locomotion as well the above observation suggests that movement and locomotion cannot be studied separately the two may link by stating that all locomotion and movement but all movements are not locomotions method and methods of locomotion performed by animals vary with their habitats and the demand of their situation how well locomotion is general leaf for search of food shelter and made suitable breeding ground favorable climatic condition or to escape from enemies or predators 20.1 types of movement cells of the human being body exhibit three main types of movement namely amoeboid ciliary and muscular some specialized cells in our body like macrophages and leukocytes in blood blood exhibit a moiboid movement it is affected by pseudopodia formed by the streaming of plasma protoplasm as in amoeba cytoskeletal elements like microfilaments are also involved in moiboid movement ciliary movement occur in most of our internal tubular organ which are lined by ciliated epithelium the coordinated movement of cilia in the trachea help in help us in removing dust particle and some of the foreign substance inhaled along with the atmospheric air passage of ova through the female reproductive tract is also fascinated by the ciliary movement movement of our limbs jaw tongue etc require muscular movement the contractile property of muscles are effectively used for locomotion the other movements by by human beings are majority of multicellular organisms locomotion requires a perfect coordinated activity of muscular skeleton and neural system in this chapter you will learn about the types of muscles their structure mechanism of their contraction and important aspect of the skeletal system 20.2 muscle you have studied in chapter 8 that the cilia and flagella are the outgrowth of the cell membrane flagella flagellar movement help in the swimming of the spermatozoa maintenance of water current in the canal system of spongy and in locomotion of protozoan like euglena muscle is a specialized tissue of mesodermal origin about 40 to 50% of the body weight of the human adult is contributed by muscles they have special property like excitability contractility extensibility and elasticity muscles have been muscles have been classified using different criteria namely location appearance and nature of regulation of their activities based on their locomotion Loco- location three types of muscles are identified first skeleton second visceral and third cardiac skeletal muscles are closely associated with the skeletal components of the body they have a tripod appearance under the microscope and hence are called striated muscles as their activities are under the voluntary control of the nervous system they are known as voluntary muscles too they are primarily involved in locomotory action and changes the body posture visceral muscles are located in the inner wall of hollow visceral organ of the body like the elementary canal reproductive tract etc they do not exhibit any striation and are smooth in appearance and they are called the smooth muscles non striated muscle their activities are not under the voluntary control of the nervous system and are therefore known as involuntary muscle they assist for example in the transportation of food through the digestive tract and gametes through genital tract as the name suggests cardiac muscle are the muscles of heart many cardiac muscles cell, muscle cell assemble in the branching pattern to form a cardiac muscle based on appearance cardiac muscles are striated they are voluntary in nature as the nervous system does not control their activities directly let us examine a 
skeleton muscle in detail to understand the structure and mechanism of contraction each organism skeleton muscle in our body is made of a number of muscle bundle or fascicles held together by a common collagenous connective tissue layer called fascia and the muscle bundle contain a number of muscle fiber figure 20.1 each the 20.1 diagrammatic cross section view of muscle showing muscle bundle and muscle fiber muscle fiber is line, lined by the plasma membrane called sacrolemma enclosing the sacroplasm muscle fiber is a synchytum uh, as this sacroplasm contain many nuclei the endoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum of the muscle fiber is the storehouse of calcium ions a characteristic feature of the muscle fiber is the presence of a large number of parallel arranged filament in the sacroplasm called myofilaments or myofibrils each myofibrils has alternate dark and light bands on it a detailed study of the micro myofibril has established that the straighted appearance is due to the distribution or pattern of two important protein actin and myosin the light band contain actin and is called i band or isotropic band whereas the dark band band called a or anisotropic band contain myosin both the proteins are arranged as rod like structure parallel to each other and also to the longitudinal axis of the myofibrils actin filament are thinner as compared to the myosin filament hence are commonly called thin and thick filament respectively in the center of each i band is an elastic fiber called z line which bisect it the thin filament are firmly attached to the z line the thick filament in the a band are also held together in the middle of the band by a thin fibrous membrane called m line the a and i band are arranged alternatively throughout the length of the myofibrils the portion of the myofibril between two successive z lines is considered as the functional unit of contraction and is called a sacromere figure 20.2 in a resting state the edges of thin filament on either side of the thick filaments partially overlap the free ends of the thick filament leaving the central part of the thick filament the central part of the thick filament not overlapped by thin filaments called the edge zone 20.2.1 structure of contractile protein each actin thin filament is made up of two f filamentous actin helically wound to each other each f actin is a polymer of monomeric g globular actin two filament of another protein tropomyosin are run also close to the f actin throughout its length a complex protein troponin is distributed at regular interval on the tropomyosin in this resting state a subunit of troponin masks the active binding site of myosin on the actin filament figure 20.3 a each myosin thick filament is also a polymerized protein many monomeric protein called meromyosin figure 20.3 b constitute one thick filament each mero myosin has two important parts a globular head with a short arm and a tail the former being called the hego heavy meromyosin hmm and the later the light meromyosin lmm the hmm component the head and short arm project outward at rectangular distance and angle from each other from the surface of a polymerized myosin filament and is known as cross arm the globular head is an active atp base enzyme and has binding site for ATP and active sites for actin. Figure 20.3 A actin thin filament B myosin monomer meromyosin 20.2.2 mechanism of muscle contraction mechanism of muscle contraction is best explained by the sliding filament theory which state that contraction of a muscle fiber take place by the sliding of a thin fiber over the thick filament muscle contraction is initiated by a signal sent by the central nervous system via motor neuron a motor neuron along with the muscle fiber connected to it constitute a motor unit a junction between a motor neuron and a, and the sacrolemma of the muscle fiber is called the neuromuscular junction or motor end plate a neural signal reaching this junction release a neurotransmitter acetyl 
acroline which generate an action potential in the sacrolimma this separate spread through the muscle fiber and cause in release of calcium ion into the sacroplasm increase in calcium level leads to the bring binding of calcium with a subunit of troponin on actin filament and thereby remove the masking of active sites for myosin utilizing the energy from atp hydrolysis the myosin head now binds to the exposed active sites on actin to form a cross bridge figure 20.4 this pulls the attached to actin filament towards the center of a band the z line attached to these actin are pulled inward thereby causing a shortening of the sacromere contraction it is clear from the above steps that during shortening of the muscle contraction the i band get reduced whereas the a band retain the length figure 20.5 the myosin released releasing the atp and p1 goes back to its relaxed state a new atp binds and the cross bridge is broken figure 20.4 the atp is again hydrolyzed by the myosin head and the cycle cross bridge formation and breaking is repeated causing further sliding the process continue till the calcium ions are pumped back to the sacroplasm cisternae resulting in the masking of actin filament the cause the return of z line back to their original position relaxation the reaction time of the fiber can vary in different muscles repeated activation of the muscle can lead to the accumulation of lactic acid due to anaerobic breakdown of glycogen in them causing fatigue muscle contain a red color oxygen storing pigment called myoglobin myoglobin content is high in some of the muscles which give a reddish appearance such muscles are called the red fiber these muscles called contain plenty of mitochondria which can utilize the large amount of oxygen stored in them for atp production these muscles therefore can also be called the anaerobic aerobic muscles on the other hand some of the muscle possesses very less quantity of the myoglobin and therefore appear in, appear pale or whitish these are the white fiber number of mitochondria are also few in them but the amount of sacroplasmic reticulum is high they depend an anaerobic process for energy 20.3 skeletal system skeletal system consists of a framework of bones and a few cartilages this system has a significant role in movement shown by the body imagine achieving food without jaw bones and walking around without the limb bones bone and cartilage are specialized connective tissue the former has a very hard matrix due to calcium salts in it the later has slightly pliable matrix due to chondroitin salt in human being this system is made up of 206 bones and a few cartilages this is it is grouped into two principal division the axial and the appendic cuneus skeleton axial skeleton comprises 80 bones distributing along the main axis of the body the skull vertebra vertebral column sternum and ribs constitute axial skeleton the skull const- skull figure 20.6 is composed of two sets of bones cranial and facial the total to that total to 22 bones cranial bones are in eight in number they form the heart protective outer covering cranium for the brain the facial region is made up of 14 skeleton elements which form the front part of the skull a single u shaped bone called hyoid is present at the base of the buccal cavity and it is also included in the skull each middle ear contain three tiny bones mainly malleus incus and staves collectively called ear ossicles the skull region articulate with the superior region of the vertebral column with the help of the two occipital condyles dicondyle leg skull over vertebral column figure 20.7 is formed by 26 serially arranged units called vertebrae and is dorsally placed it extends from the base of the skull and constitute the main framework of the trunk each vertebra has a central hollow portion neural canal neural canal through which the spinal cord passes first vertebra is the atlas and it articulate with the occipital condyle the vertebral column is differentiated into cervical 7 thoracic 12 lumbar 5 sacral 1 fused and 
cosical one fused region starting from the skull the number of cervical vertebra are seven in almost all mammals including human being the vertebral column protect the spinal cord support the head and serve serve as the point of attachment for the ribs and the musculature of the back sternum is a flat bone on the ventral midline of the thorax there are 12 pair of ribs each rib is a thin flat bone connected dorsal dorsally to the vertebral column and ventrally to the sternum it has two articular articulation surface on its dorsal end and is hence called bicephalic first seven pair of ribs are at called true ribs dorsally they are attached to the thoracic vertebra and ventrally connected to the sternum with the help of hyaline hyaline cartilage the eighth ninth and tenth pair of ribs do not articulate directly with the sternum but join the seventh rib with the help of hyaline cartilage these are called vertebronchodial false ribs so the last two pairs 11 and 12 of ribs are not connected ventrally and are therefore called floating ribs thoracic vertebra ribs and sternum together form the rib cage figure 20.8 the bones of the limbs along with their griddles constitute the appendicular skeleton each limb is made up of 30 bones the bone of the hand for limb are humerus radius and ulna carpals wrist bones 8 in number metacarpals palm bones 5 in number and phalanges digits 14 in number figure 20.9 femur thigh bone the longest bone tibia and fibula tarsala tarsals ankle bone 7 in number meta tarsal 5 in number and phalanges digits 14 in number are the bones of the legs and limb figure 20.10 a cup shaped bone called patella cover the knee ventrally knee cap pectoral and pelvic griddle bone help in the articulation of the upper and the lower limb respectively with the axial skeleton each griddle is formed of two halves each half of the pectoral griddle constitute of the clavicle and the specula figure 20.9 scapula is a large triangle flat bone situated in the dorsal part of the thorax between the second and the seventh ribs the dorsal flat triangular body of the scapula has a slightly elevated ridge called the spine which checked as a flat expanded process called the acromion the clavicle articulates with is below the acromion is a depression called the glenoid cavity which articulate with the head of the humerus to form the shoulder joint each clavicle is a long slender bone with two curvature this bone is commonly called the collar bones pelvic girdle consists of two co- coxal bones figure 20.10 and each coxal bone is formed by the fusion of three bones ilum isculum and pubis at the point of fusion of the above bones is a cavity called acetabulum to which the thigh bone articulate the two halves of the pelvic girdle girdle meet ventrally to form the public symphysis containing fibrous cartilage 20.4 joint joints are essentially for all types of movement involving the bony part of the body locomotory movement are no exception this joint are point of the contact between bones or between bones of cartilage force generated by the muscle is used to carry out movement through joint where the joint act as fulcrum the mobility at these joints vary depending on different factor joint have been classified into three major structure forms namely fibrous cartilage and synovial fibrous joint do not allow any movement this type of joint is shown by the flat skull bone which fuse end to end with the help of dense fibrous connective tissue in the form of sutures to form the cranium in cartilaginous joint the bone involved are joined together with the help of cartilage the joint between the adjacent vertebra in the vertebral column is of the pattern and this it permits limiting movement synovial joints are characterized by the presence of the fluid filled synovial cavity between the articulating surfaces of the two bones such an arrogant arrangement allows considerable movement these joint help in the location locomotion and many other movement ball and socket joint between humerus and pectoral girdle hinge joint knee joint pivot joint between atlas and axis 
gliding joint between the carpals and saddle joints between the carpal and metacarpal of thumb are some example 20.5 disorders of mut muscular and skeletal system myasthenia gravis autoimmune disorder affecting neuromuscular junction leading to fatigue weakening and paralyzing of skeletal muscle muscular dystrophy progressive degeneration of skeletal muscle mostly due to genetic disorder tetany rapid spasms while contraction muscle due to low calcium in the body fluid arthritis inflammation of joint osteoporosis age related disorder characterized by decreased bone mass and decrease increased chance of fracture decreased level of estrogen in common cause cord inflammation of joint due to accumulation of uric acid crystals summary movement is an essential feature of all living beings protoplasmic streaming ciliary movement movements of fins limbs wings etc are some forms exhibiting by animals a voluntary movement which cause the animal to change its place is called locomotion animals move generally in search of food shelter mate breeding ground pet climate or to protect themselves the cells of the human body exhibit amoeboid ciliary and the muscular movement locomotion and many other movement require coordinated muscular activities three types of muscles are present in our body skeletal muscles are attached to the skeletal element they appear straight striated and are voluntary in nature visceral muscle present in the inner wall of the visceral organs and are non striated and involuntary cardiac muscles are the muscles of the heart they are striated branch and involuntary muscle processes except extability contractility and extensibility and elasticity Mu- muscle fibers is an anatomical unit of muscle each muscle fiber has many parallelly arranged myofibrils each myofibril contain many serially arranged unit called sacromere which are the functional units each sacromere has a central a band made of thick myosin filament and two half i bands made of thin actin filament on either side of it marked by z lines actin and myosin are polymerized protein with the contracts contractility the active site for myosin on resting actin filament are sites and active sites for actin a motor neuron carries signal to the muscle fiber which generate an action potential in it this causes the release of calcium from sacroplasmic reticulum calcium activate actin which binds to the myosin head to the form a cross bridge these cross bridge pull the actin filament causing them to slide over the myosin filament and thereby causing contraction calcium are then returned to sacroplasmic reticulum which in active way the actin cross bridges are broken and muscular and the muscle relax repeated stimulation of the muscle leads to fatigue muscles are classified as red and white fiber based on primarily on the amount of red color myoglobin pigment in them bones and cartilage constitute our skeleton system the skeleton system is divisible into axial and appendicular skull vertebrae column ribs and sternum constitute the actual skeleton limb joint limb bones and cradles from the appendicular skeleton 3 types of joints are formed between bones or between bones of the and cartilage fibrous cartilaginous and synovial synovial joints allow considerable movement and therefore play a significant role in movement locomotion